okay? Um, yesterday we made the assignment about the uh, about website. Today we are making the pages and the widget pages, okay? Uh, let's go through the folder first. M symbol assignment. Okay, it's this one. Uh, let's open the sublime. Open folder. Looking for its its assignment. Uh, M symbol assignment. Okay. So we already finished the the user pages and the website pages. Open in browser. This is login. By login, go to the profile and I click the website. Go to the websites and I can uh, click the. Edit a website. I can add a new website. And today we're making the, the page list. When, when, when I click this one, should go to the page list. Okay? So that this should be looks like uh, this one here. Pages here. Page list. Okay, should be look like this one. Alright, let's start it. Okay, in the pages folder, right click it. Open a new file, save it, page this dot html. <clears throat> okay, and uh, uh, let's copy the website list here and uh, just edit it. Okay, copy the website list to page list here. Okay, and change the website list into page list. And the meta tag and link doesn't need to change, it's not need to change. Okay, come here. Navbar. I uh, have navbar, uh, fixed top, navbar dark, BG primary. Let's change the BG primary to BG light. Change it to another color. Okay, let's actually open the page to see how it looks like. Looks like that. BG light is uh, it's really light. Um, okay, and uh, let's remove the let's remove the navbar dark. Okay, that. And come back here. Oh, see, I have the website here, and I need to remove the uh, the 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 font white. Okay. Um, the first thing I have here is uh, it's one color white. Let's remove this one. And here I also have uh, it's one font uh, color white. Remove this one. One. Okay, they are in blue color. Uh, let me make a uh, easier like bootstrap class to make it in, in black uh, black color like a bootstrap nav. Let's check it. Uh, let's see. Uh, nail bar light. It's this one. Nail bar light. Okay. Instead of a nail bar dark, we use a nail bar light. Uh, let's check it. Okay. Let's make this dark, and then I need to make uh, my own class. Like a, a navbar, uh, like like a, a SW color black to make it in black color. Okay, I want to change it to black color. So I'll go to my style CSS and let's copy the uh, SW color white. Change it to SW color black. Change the color white into color black. I want to save it and I will use it here. Um, no, no, this is a website list. This one page list. Okay, I want to uh, you apply it on my two icons here. So this class gonna be SW color black, and uh, this one here is a uh, class SW color black. Okay, so they're in black color. Uh, just going to change. I need to change the content of it. It should be pages, okay? And the link here, uh, left. If I go back to left, I shouldn't go to the profile page. I should go to website page. Should go to where place where the, I come from, okay? I come I, I come to the the page list by click the the website list here. I click this one. Should go to the page list. If I click this, I should go back, okay? I should go back to the website. So let's change it. Uh, this should be um, data slash and uh, go to the website folder website website folder and then looking for the page website list.html okay 
So that means if I click it, it should uh, it should go to website list.html. <coughs> and this button here, it shouldn't go to website new HTML. It should go to page new HTML. Okay, I'll make it later. So if I click this, go back to the website, click this here, go to the pages. Okay, and uh, now bar is already. Um, let's come back to the next part here. Have a container. Have a list. List of uh, stuff here. Uh, let's see what we have. What we should have in our requirement. Uh, I will need a uh, similar things here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Those five things here. Um, let's change the content of it. Uh, it's never, never. Uh, let's move this bigger. And list here. List. Group is group item. Okay, that. It shouldn't go to the page list. It should go to the widget list. So it should be widget folder. And uh, let's go to the widget list. And change the first one into blog post. You can use any, 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 any in HTML here. I, I don't really care the content of it. Okay, but the link should should be correct. It should go to page edit. It's uh. It should go to widget folder, looking for widget list. And uh, the content should be blogs. Okay, you can be changing any content. And this should go to um, page edit. Okay, actually, it's be bigger, easier for you and for me to see it. Uh, let's go to the widgets, we'll click it. When I click this icon, it should go to page edit. This one with edit, uh, widget list and uh, page edit. This one widget list, widget and uh, widget list. And uh, the content is uh, home. Change the content in the home, uh, capital H. And uh, this should go to page edit. I click the cog icon here. And this one is the same, let's just copy this, replace the old one here, and the content should be about. And the website edit should be page edit. I click the cog, should go to the page edit. Okay, let's come back, uh, refresh it. Alright, let's come back here, click this. Okay. I can remove the border like uh, I used the class in the last projects uh, using the uh, list group flush. Right? Uh, remove the, the remove the, the, the border outside border of the list. Okay, it'll be like that. Um next thing I want to change the color of the footer. Okay, I'll change the color of the footer. Footer here. Have a nail bar, fixed bottom, nail bar light, BG light, and the change the uh, uh, SW, uh, let's change the color of it. Did I use it? I don't think you need to change the color. I didn't change the color before, so refresh it. Okay, yeah, that's uh, what I want. Um, I actually feel the, the color of it is too, too light. I want to make it like a little bit. Uh, more like gray. Let's make my own color. Okay, let's make my own color. Like uh, copy this and uh, like uh, make a SW color gray. Right, exchange the gray. Um, come back here. Instead of a uh, BG light, let's using SW. Actually, it should be. I, I can't use a color gray. I should be use back background color gray. Okay. Um, let's make it uh, like a BG gray. So then changes to background color gray. Okay, should be change the background color. Choose with this. I just copy the name of this class. This SWBG gray. Change the BG light into SWBG gray. And also for the for the top nail bar. Okay, just come back here. 
Uh, it's even worse. I cannot even see it. Let's just looking for a, a hexadecimal color. Okay, hex color, hexadecimal color. Let's create one. Um, let's create one. Seems like uh, this color I think is is good enough. This one. Okay, just copy that. Uh, replace the gray here. Actually. Did I just have to choose him color so it doesn't work? It's just oh, it's actually oh, this this looks better. I just uh, tap the two column here so it doesn't work. I did one and uh, just uh, like that. Um, I actually don't like the, the link color here. I think I can change the color of the link here. Um, let's see. I can change this color into 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 black. I want to do that. I can just uh, um, go to the the file, and I already have a uh, SW color black. I just use that class. Copy that. Change the color of into black. See so if I just if it's working. If I put it into list, uh, it's not working. It has to be in link. Okay. I need to put it in this link here. I change the link color. SW color black. Okay. It's in black color. Uh, change it. Uh, each every link I have here. Uh, so. And to add the class to all the links I have, change all of them to black. Okay, they're in black color. Uh, page here, I want it to be capitalized. Uh, page here, change it capitalized. Okay, like that. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's better than what I expect. No, it's too dark, but uh, yeah, just you can change the color of it, make it light, like, uh, like this. Uh, yeah, like maybe this one. Change it a little bit to to white. Like change this color here. Come back. Yeah, make it lighter. Okay, that's going to be our page list. And next thing I want to make is uh, this button. Okay, Let's go to page new. And then when I click this, should go to page edit. Let's make those two two pages. Um, let's come back to a page list here. Open the folder here and uh, right click the page. Oh, a new file. This should be our page new. Html. Okay. Uh, let's see what do we need for the page new. Uh, come back to requirement. On page new, we'll have two navbar and uh, uh, this thing, this uh, form. Okay, this form. Let's. Copy the form we have on the right side of uh, of a web edit, right? On the right side of web edit is basically what we expect here, and change it a little bit. Actually, let's just make it by, by ourselves. It takes maybe save time. Um, the title is page edit, a uh, page new. Sorry, new page. It's same new page. Um, okay, let's just uh, see what else we need. Yeah, uh, we need a uh, icon. A title and a check. Um, where I can find it? I don't want to do it by myself. I let's go grab it somewhere. Uh, so have a a, a navbar, right? Navbar will have a, a the colors is the same as a page list. So I'm using the navbar fix top, uh, B, uh, navbar light, and S S1 BG gray. Those are the class I want to use. Now bar fix top pop now right. Let's change the color of it. Okay, and within it, I will have three links. First one is the icon. It will go back to the page list. Right, I come from the page list. So when I click this this icon here, I should go back to page list. Um. Okay. So 
uh, this page is here. Should I want to make it like uh, the uh, icon? Icon, I can find this icon in my website edit. Website edit should have that icon. Website, website new, both of them should have the icon. It's this icon. Come back, page new, paste icon here. Okay, I paste the icon here. And if I come back to my, uh, actually, yeah, I should come back to the page. Uh, page list, click this button. Uh, here is page new. I cannot see anything. Uh, did I not save it? Oh, I, I, I don't have the, the, the meta tag. I found awesome here. Uh, let's copy it here. I need the meta tag. Uh, found awesome and bootstrap. And my own says this. Copy them here. Okay, this is gonna be um, my outside the links. Let's refresh it. Okay, have those things. Uh, let's using the SW uh, color black, change it to black color. Um, let's change the class here. SW color black. Okay. And uh, next thing I will need is um, is uh, this title here, new page, new page. Let's go to uh, uh, website new to grab that. It should be in the left side. It should be something. It should be this. Okay, let's copy that uh, to here. And it change its color white to its color black, and change the websites into pages. Uh, actually, it should be new uh, page. Okay, and I need a, a, another icon. It's a plus icon. It's this one here in the page new. I just grab this from page new, uh, from website new to page new. Change the uh, color white to color black. And it should be linked to a different page. Okay, if I click this, it should uh, go to stay this page and refresh it. This page is a uh, page new that you may refresh your page. And uh, oh, this should be a plus page. It should be a it should be a, a check button. It should be a check button. When I click this, up, it uh, accept my submit. Uh, it should be the a check button. Check button should be in here. It's it's cog, not this one. Um, where I can find it in my website new. Uh, here I have a check button. Copy this. Website page new here. This one, this one to this, and change color white into color black. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, I have this too. I'll grab it to to left. Um, how can I grab it to left? I have a SW. Uh, let's add it. Oh, actually, I think I need to add a, a, a div here. I think I did the same thing somewhere. Let's see. Uh, it's the same thing in in website list. Okay, in website list, I did the same thing. Go to website list. Yes, I use a div here. Let's copy this. Page website new here. Uh, what's the new here? Let's replace this one. Replace this icon here. Oh, page new. Actually, sorry. Page new. It's true. Do this. Is. Replace it with a uh, div here. And now by brand and change the website into new page. I should link to uh, page new HTML. Come back. Refresh it. Yeah, it's like that. Okay. Uh, and this is what I look look at. Yeah, it is. And uh, uh, this is my navbar, and uh, I will have a a, a, a list here. After uh, uh, sorry, sorry, a form here. I will have a form that can allow me to to create a, a name for it and a title for it. And uh, I also will need a. Uh, footer here. Footer will allow me to go back to my profile, right? 
go get one from the page list. So, so yeah, exactly the same thing. So always go to the the, the profile page. Put it here. Uh, let's refresh your page. Okay, I got the footer. Now what I need is the form. All I need is a form. So here I have a div between the footer and the navbar. Using class container fluid and create that form. Form and uh, I will have a, a div in the in the form. And class is a uh, form control. Uh, form uh, group. We 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 done it many times. Okay, uh, like div here. Uh, class is equal to form group, and there's two thing, two groups. One is for the, one is for name, another one is for title. Okay, so let's do the first one. Let's have a label, name, is that name? Uh, yeah, name, and I have an input. Type is text, name is a, uh, uh, page name. Okay, and uh, it should have a, a placeholder. Placeholder will say uh, enter your page name. Uh, page name, okay. Like that, about like that. Uh, if we come back here, it'll be like that. Okay, I need to apply the class. A class for the input. It should be form control. Okay, to make it in, into a new line, takes a whole line. Okay, and I want to make this name into bot. I want to make his name into port. Add a B tag here and close it right after. Okay? And the uh, next thing I will just copy this to, put it here, change the name into title, and uh, enter your page title. Uh, this uh, name should be page title. Okay? Here, we got it. Okay? And when I enter this thing, when I click this, it should be allow me to submit it. Okay. Okay. And uh, I want maybe I want to another button, right? User can click this button, submit, or I can create a, another button here to allow him to submit it or cancel this it. Or for now, it can click this come back to go back to page list. I want to give give, give him more options. I want to create two new buttons here. Okay. Let's create two a tags here. Uh, the first one is allow him to cancel it. It will go back to page list, the HTML. And the second one will allow him to submit it. So it will be submit. And it will go to, uh, it will also go to page list the HTML. Okay, after it submit it, it will go back to page list. Did I do the same thing in the website new? Website new should be, if I click submit, I should also go back to, uh, yeah, it's, uh, okay, so let's change the, 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 the submit new, why, this hash, let's change this into uh, website new, okay? Like when I submit uh, uh, the website, I should go back, to, uh, go back to website list. When I submit something, I should go back to website list. The same thing for the, for the check here. Um, website new. Uh, when I go to when I click check, it should go back to the website list. Uh, website list HTML. Okay, remember ch you, you need to change this for the website new. And uh, also in page new, when I click the check there, it should go to page list. HTML. I think uh, we already uh, I already said it in in the form in this uh, description here, uh, in the like say in the website near here. Where I go to where I click OK, or click the cancel, or click the left arrow, or click the check. It should go back to website this page. Okay, it has a description here. Where when you click something, where should it go? Okay, have the action and the two page, and it has also have a description here. Like when you edit page new, when I click cancel, OK, you should go back to page list, so website, website list. Same thing for the page. Okay, when I click the new, go to the new page, when I click cancel, when I click OK, go back to the page list. Okay, so refresh your page, I have two buttons here. 
cancel submit okay let's make them look better more like an icon more like a button uh, page new here those two here is give a class here class is equal to btn btn uh, this is cancel cancel is dangerous make it btn danger okay and uh, I want to make it like a btn block um, make it a bigger btn B, this is a btn success and btn block okay Maybe like that uh, let's make submit up and uh, cancel under it we'll copy the submit make it uh, up uh, like uh, above the cancel it makes more sense okay submit and cancel like that and you can change the color if you don't like it you just don't use your btn danger btn success you make your own class and change it uh, change the background color it will change it okay um that's uh that, that's all for the new page okay Let's come back to page list. I want to make this page edit. When I click it, should go to page edit. Okay. Um, let's open a new page. Save it. Page edit. Dot HTML. Uh, I can actually. I think that this should be the, looks exactly the same as a page page new. Right? It looks uh, mostly like the same. Let's just copy the code and change it a little bit. Page new here, copy it to page edit. Okay, uh, change this to edit page. Uh, let's come back to the body. Uh, change this to edit page. Come back. When I go back, should be go to uh, go to page list. It's correct. When I click this, it should go to page edit. When I click OK, check here. Should go to page list. It's correct. I have form. Form, uh, I have some, I can have some value for this name, right? It's uh, the name like it was uh, like a blog post. I can just add value equals to uh, blog post. Okay, if I refresh the page, uh, let's go here, refresh the page, it should have saying blog post here. Okay, that's a value of this. I can delete it and change it. Um, and the second one here. I can give a value to the title. It should, you can see um, like a block. Okay, like it's a value of it. Okay, it's title and the name. And here should be submit or delete. I change the submit to, to update. Okay, I change I can change the color. A primary, make it a blue color. Update it or delete it. Okay, I can update that, update it. Or back to here, I can delete it. Okay. I think that's it. Others don't need to change. And see how easy it is. It's compared with um, website pages. It's, uh, page pages are just much easier. You don't have to use a row or column. Or you, you can add it, you know. When, when, you, when, you, when you create a new page, you can have a list of the pages on the left if you want. Okay? If you do that, so just uh, copy, the page, copy the code from the website list and paste it here. Alright? Um, that's it for the pages. Let's let me submit it. Uh, update my uh, GitHub. Okay, let's go to desktop. Looking for my folders here. Uh, right click it. Git bash here. Uh, git add dot. Git status. Okay, I'm adding uh, three pages, and I modified. I modified two pages here. That's correct. I changed the website new. I changed its link. And uh, oh, okay. I forgot one thing. I also need to change the website edit, right? Website edit link. I didn't change that. Website edit. Uh, when I click the check, it should go back to the website list. Dot HTML. And uh, same thing for the uh, for the button. If I click the button uh, submit, I can. I should go to website list okay uh, if I can I want to change the color actually I'll make it uh, primary and change submit into update 
it's all up to you okay you can still use submit it because it makes sense after it just makes more sense for me um so i use a uh, git and dot oh sorry git and dot apps i'll type it again git add dot okay git status let's get in uh, the, the, the the file i have here i have a change the website the editor website new and add the three more three more new files and uh, I changed the style services. I added like color black. I added a back background color gray. Things like that. Um, let's uh, commit it. Git commit. Dot m. Uh, page pages and update uh, website pages. Okay. Git push. Okay, should be in my GitHub folder. So that's it for the pages, and later we'll make the the, the widgets.